what stands up to 19 feet tall, weighs 3,000 pounds, it has gangly legs and an 18 inch long tongue, there's only one animal living today that fits that bill, and that's the stately giraffe. They love to forage among the trees, acacia being one of their favorites. Now their tongues are a very dark color to prevent sunburn, and they are prehensile. Now that means that giraffes can hold on to things with their tongues. Check this out right here. Isn't this amazing? The giraffe has seven cervical vertebrae. They have neck bones that's actually the same as us, but even so, each of those bones, wow, they're almost a foot long. So why the long neck? Charles Darwin originally thought that the giraffe's neck might be so long because it would reach up into the trees and it would actually stretch its neck and it developed a long neck. Now, evolutionary biologists these days think that perhaps natural selection and mutations may have been the primary factor for the long neck. African folklore actually says that the giraffe's neck is so long because it ate magical herbs. And when we look at all of the features of a giraffe, we could look at those features as chance mutations driven by natural selection, as many biologists and wildlife specialists do. But is it possible that the design of the giraffe could be attributed to a designer? Someone who created the world complete with the plants and creatures needed to inhabit that world and maintain a complex ecosystem? I'm David Reeves in South Africa. Like what you're seeing? Want more? Be sure to hit the subscribe button to be notified as soon as we put up new videos and content.